Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another 3D Christmas project to share with you. This project features another one of these domes. I'm a little bit obsessed with them and I'm trying to use what's in my craft stash. It also features some lawn fawn dies and some chipboard stickers by Simple Stories. So to get started, I decided to use this paper pad today. It's not a Christmas themed one, but I really like the colors and they just happen to go really well with a set of chipboard stickers that I've had in my stash since last Christmas. To make all the adorable little boxes for this dome, I'm using my tiny gift box die set by Lawn Fawn, and I'm using some bits and pieces from this bow die set as well. So I went through all my papers and I picked out some that were just a mix of plain and heavily patterned, and I think I originally picked nine of them, but I only ended up being able to fit eight boxes in my dome. So as you can see here, I am starting to assemble them. I am using my adhesive dot runner today to stick these together. After putting some of those dots on each of the flaps, I then just kind of gently hold them just for a moment so that they adhere nicely. Every time I cut this die, I always forget just how little the tiny box is. I haven't made anything with this one for quite a while. And I remember a couple of years ago, I made a whole bunch of reindeers and I was just obsessed with how little they are. This box is so much fun and it's so versatile. I mean, I'm just using it as presents today, but with all those little add-ons for this box, there's just so many things that you can make with it. Once I was done adhering all those boxes, I took the scraps that I had from each box and I just cut some really thin strips of that cardstock. I'm going to be using this as the ribbon for all of my boxes and I'm not doing the same ribbon to match the paper. I'm just mixing them up as much as I can. So again, with my glue tape runner, I'm just adding some of those dots onto this cardstock and wrapping my boxes. It doesn't have to go all the way around because these boxes are going to be stacked and glued into place and you're not going to see the back of them. I just figured this was a really good way to use up some of the scraps. Once I had put all of those ribbons on, I played around with my dome and realized that I couldn't fit my boxes when they were lying flat. And I was in like this panic that I wouldn't be able to get more than maybe four of these boxes in total. And then I realized if I just tipped them up on their sides, <laughs> they would fit. So what I've done here is I've tipped up the boxes. I'm not planning on opening these. These aren't like an advent calendar. I don't need access to the little side that opens at all. I've glued them shut. And I'm going to just be adding a little bit of glue to the sides and sticking them together in sets of three. This isn't necessary, but it's going to be holding them together so that when I arrange them in the dome, it's going to make it just a bit easier. So here I am working on the last box. This one is at the top, so I've cut two strips of some scrap paper because you're going to be seeing both sides of this. I've joined them at the top and I'm going to be covering the join with a bow. And from all the other bits of scrap, I'll be cutting bows for all of the presents. So here I am just using a pen to round my ribbon a little bit. I find this helps to get the shape so that I don't bend or crease the sides. These are a little bit fiddly, but I actually really enjoy making these little bows. I'm not sure what it is about it. I think they're just so cute when they're finished that they're worth every little bit of work. With this bow and ribbon being stuck on top of this box, I'm using this flat piece from the bow die set. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but if I'm putting a bow on top of the box, I use this flat piece, and if I'm putting it on the side, I use the ribbon that looks like it hangs down. That'll make sense in a minute. But can we just have a little look at this present and obsess over it for a second? It is just so adorable. So back to my other boxes. As you can see, the glue has dried and they're sticking nicely together. And so here is what I mean by sticking these on the side. So these ribbons just look like they're naturally hanging down. So I'm putting these on my lower layer where my bows are on the sides of the box. I think this is just so cute. I'm absolutely in love with these little boxes. The top layer is getting these flat ribbons as their bows are sitting on top. I didn't end up showing it for some reason in this video, but I painted the bottom of this dome white. It is just that plain brown, I think it's made of MDF. So I really wanted it to look a bit more Christmassy and not so plain, so I just painted it white. I'm going to be adhering my presents with some PVA glue. And as you can see, three presents fit perfectly with just enough room for my dome to go over the top. If I had my boxes flat, they would not fit, but upright, they fit perfectly. I add my second layer of boxes. These ones have the bows on top. Same deal, I just add some PVA glue to the bottom of them and then I'm going to stick them with the boxes arranged so that they're, I guess, in a pattern or they fill in the gaps. Lastly, I'm going to glue my final box on the very top. And I'm just loving how this is looking as it comes together. It's so adorable. 
Honestly, I think I could have left it at that and it would have been very cute, but I wanted to add some little bits and pieces around the side, maybe so that it looked like these were the presents being packed. So I've picked my chipboard stickers from my set and I've grabbed some white tissue paper too. And I'm just going to cut some tiny little pieces of that, scrunch it up and stick it in some places all over just to fill in the gaps and make it look like there is tissue paper to pack the presents with. I'm using PVA glue to stick these little chipboard stickers in. I haven't removed the backing because they're not being stuck down flat. I love the weight and dimension in these, so I feel like with enough PVA glue, they should stay there and shouldn't budge. Once I was happy with the placement of all of my chipboard stickers, I then went around to some of the gaps and just stuck some tissue paper in there too, just so that this looks good from every angle. To finish this off, I did want to add a tag to my dome, so I cut some pink paper again from my scraps, and using some blue ink, it just matched all the chipboard stickers a bit better. I'm stamping special delivery from my special delivery lawn fawn stamp set. I'm using some hemp cord that I grabbed from Hobby Hoppers and wrapping it around the dome a couple of times before tying on my little tag. And there we have it. That was actually very simple and straightforward to make. And I feel like it is such a beautiful decorative piece. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Is this something that you would bring out to decorate your home every year? I had so much fun making it and I think it turned out really cute. I'll leave you with some photos of the finished project. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.